We've been hearing this morning uh, about Staffordshire County Council's new idea to help promote local businesses. It's called Made in Staffordshire. New scheme being launched to showcase the best that the county has to offer uh, from a range of different areas. We're talking things like food, manufacturing car parts, new technology. And uh, earlier on, we did speak to the Cabinet Member for Economic Growth and Enterprise on how they hope it's going to benefit local companies. And we can actually speak to some of those local companies uh, now. Betty DeVille has been part of Staffordshire Organic Cheese for 25 years and Clive Jarose is the eponymous director of Clive Jarose Woodturners Limited which specialise in timber products. Betty and Clive, good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning, Pete. Right, Betty, I'm just going to come to you first. Just tell us about your business. Well, as you said, we started 25 years ago and I think we put Staffordshire on the map alongside Wedgwood and Dalton. <laughs> um, Yes, calling, well, we've been farming organically for 30 years or more. And when we started cheese making commercially, which before that had been our hobby, uh, I say the obvious thing was to call it Staffordshire Organic. Uh, in fact, actually, you taught our very own Amy Clues to make cheese, I believe. Oh, yes, she came and had a day with David. <laughs> in fact, I don't make the cheese anymore, haven't done for years, and I'm standing in for him today because he's been on holiday and on his way back this morning ah right so th this idea of having a brand uh, a definite kind of stamp for your product that says made in staffordshire do you think that's a good idea oh i do and i think people are more and more aware of where their food is coming from do you, i mean but do you think it would help your business whether we actually have this logo uh, made in staffordshire I really don't know. It's something we'd have to discuss between us. But certainly, we're not short of business at the moment. Uh, considering there's a recession, the yeah. che cheese is going through the door as fast as we can make it. One of, one of the things we were talking about a little bit earlier on when, when we spoke to the councillor was, do people outside of the county care where things are coming from? I think a lot of people care where it's made. And once... I mean, we sell our cheese all over Britain. And obviously, we have done for many years. And people have got to know that the name of Staffordshire Organic is a good one. So they go for it. All right, then, Betty. Just wait there one second. Clive, I'm just going to come to you. Just explain what it is you guys do. Well, we mainly make stair components for the building industry, and we specialise in nice turn balustrading and hand railing uh, and products like that. So what do you make of this idea, then, of this, uh, uh, this brand made in Staffordshire? Well, I think anything that promotes uh, local business and local employment is very, very good. I'm not quite sure it will transpose to the manufacturing industry as well as it's done to the food industry. Mm. So uh, it remains to be seen how they'll well, manage that. Would you be interested in joining it, then? In principle, yes. Um, but I think just having a brand and a logo isn't going to be sufficient to make manufacturing any better in Staffordshire. So you, you can't see, really, a, a, a particular benefit for the company? I, th I think it depends on uh, how well this is all rolled out. At the moment, there's very little information on it on the website, and uh, I've been trying to find more and more. But, um, you know, I'm very open-minded about mm -hmm. it. I, I definitely support anything that Staffordshire can do to help its local business, and I hope that it would extend to helping small businesses, particularly in Staffordshire, to go and promote their goods in other regions of the country. And, you know, harping back to when Mike Wolfe was uh, um, our mayor, he organised a trade mission to uh, London to exhibit in a, a, a show down there for a lot of local businesses. Those sort of initiatives are very, very useful. And do you think it's something that you should be paying for? Um, I think everything's got a cost. It depends. I couldn't find a, uh, a zero payment option on the website questionnaire, so <laughs> I ticked the lowest cost possible, but um, it entirely depends. Well, because when we spoke to the, the council a little bit earlier on, they were saying it's a modest cost and they seemed rather coy. How much was it and what was it on the website? Well, I think it ranged from about £100, or £50 to about £500, so you could tick various options. And um, what, what do you get for the different options? Um... I really don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Betty, what about you? Do you, you uh, does it bother you that you would have to pay for this? To ha I mean, something you've already got, Staffordshire, in your name. Mm, yes. To, to pay to, to kind of have it again. That's right. It, it, it's something we'd have to discuss. Uh, I mean, my son, who now runs the cheese side of the business, he might say, well, 
I can't take any more trade. So, no, it won't pay me to pay extra money out to to advertise it. But on the other hand, he might think it's a good idea. All right, Betty, thanks very much for taking time out to speak to us, Betty. Betty DeVille from Staffordshire Organic Cheese. Uh, Clive Jarose, Clive indeed, Clive Jarose from Clive Jarose Woodturners Limited. Thanks very much for coming in, good to speak to you. It's a pleasure, Pete. Uh, G- speaking to us here on BBC Radio Stoke. We'll keep you up to date with with this this Made in Staffordshire scheme, uh, this brand, and exactly what £500 will get you. 20 to 9 now. <laughs>